Welcome to Code Jogging. In this video, we are going to look at the use of card components in Compose UI. Card components helps us to group a lot of components in a container. So, card components is similar to the layout groups that we discussed in our previous video. For example, column, rows, and then box. Card component is similar to box, box component, because it allows each element to be stacked on each other. So what makes the card layout different from the box component is default, the card component comes with the rounded edges, which also have um, elevation. That's how we can um, elevate a, a component or a card view component. So without wasting much time, we are going to look at how to implement card view or card components to um, hold more than one component in our app. Um, I've been saying card view because in um, previous and or in the Holding Android development that the use of um, XML, there is a component that we use called Card View, and the card here is similar to that. So, for us to get started, we are going to call our card component. So, you call our card component, we have to import it, and now because it's in experimental mode, we have to import the material three API okay so now we've called our card components there are a lot of things we can do so we are going to start with the one with content and as I've said that anytime you call a component most of the components has a callback function as a parameter and a callback function is a composable function. It means that you can write um, a UI code inside the callback function. So that's the reason why we are seeing the column scope as a callback function. So for us to confirm, let's put the cursor on the component and then wait for some few seconds that there will be a pop-up. So we have the content. That's a column scope as a callback function. So, and then we have our on click event here or on the we have the on click listener so with this anytime a user click on this card component we can perform a request or a function here so now let's look at a card view holding um content so now we are going to use box content here so we are going to use box content we call back then we will give it a max maximum file size so let's import mod file okay and then we are going to center its element so let's center it then we we'll add this component So let's add our message card with content. Okay, so here we can continue run our code and we will see the output. And as I've said earlier, card view automatically gives a rounded edges. Okay. So now we run, we run our code, and then this is the output. So let's implement the card view features to it. So let's add modifiers, and as we've explained it in our, our previous videos, we said modifiers helps us to customize how we want a component to be looked like. So we are going to add a height of hundred. DP 
okay so now let's run our code yes so now we've modified our card components we've set the weight to fill max width and then height to 100 dp so now we want to provide space between the screen and the card then we can go ahead and then add padding so the pattern will be 10 dp so let's run our code so that we can get a clear picture of the card view yes and as i said earlier that the card view gives you a rounded edges here so default we have a rounded edges here okay so this is how we use a card view in our project or a card component in our project so the next step we are going to look at it is the colors in the card view or in the card component default it has a gray background so we are going to modify or customize the colors so card view default then we have card colors okay so let's put a case on the card colors then you will see the parameters we can work on so we are going to change the background color to um let's see a primary color so let's call color scheme okay so let's import it and then let's call the primary color okay so we can find the color scheme in this file or in this folder then we go to the team then this is where we have the color scheme here so this is the color scheme okay so now let's go back to our main activity let's run the code then we should be able to change the background color to our primary color yes now you can see that our card component background color is the same as the um, notification or the status bar background color so let's change the content color to white so color white let's run our code again okay so now what we are going to do is to update the edges that's the rounded edges that you are having here default this is how um, card view works now we can decide whether we want to maintain this or we want to change it to how we want it to be so we can do that so we can do that by adding a shape so let's put the cursor on it and then we have a shape here okay so we can call the shape then we call the rounded shape that we already know then we specify how rounded we want the edges to be so let's make it two so that it will be reduced so let's run our code and then find out yes now you can see that instead of having the default rounded edges here we've now changed it to our preferred rounded edges here so now we are no more having the rounded one we can still increase this side to 20 and then we will have a rounded ed edges here yes so how you want it depends on the value you put in here and if you want to customize it in your own way you can put the cursor on it and then you or you can click on this then you get a rough rounded edges whether you want to do whether you want you, you want to apply to left um, right top and down you can do that 
so now the next step you are going to look at is adding border so with this we are going to add a border color red so you add border then it uses border stroke so let's add a comma so border stroke accept two parameters the width and then the color so how thickness do we want our border to be so we can add width so let's make it 3 dp and then the color let's make it red so that we can see okay so now we've added a border to it so let's run our code we are supposed to see a border or a red border line here yes so now we've added a border to our card component okay so the next step or the next property we are going to look at it is the elevation so now with the elevation we can use the card default and then we call the elevation card elevation okay yes so here we will decide elevation is uh, more like a shadow that we will, we will surrounded it um around our component so if in case we want to surround our component with a shadow we can use the elevation to achieve that so default we are going to apply the shadow around the whole component or the whole card component here so we are going to put a cursor on this and select the default value these are the properties we can use to okay when it's being dragged when it's being disabled hovered focus and then pressed by default we are going to select this one so we are going to set the default to let's make it um 10 dp yes now you can see that we are having a shadow now you can see that we are having a shadow around our card components okay so let's make it um four and see yes so now we are having a shadow around our component okay so there are a lot of steps you can do with the card component but the purpose for this video is to show you the basic use of card components in a, in our next video we are going to look at sample of um, card components how we can use card components in our project okay so we are going to look at how we can add um, a layout that is a um, um, group lay um, layout group to our card content and also we'll be looking at how to add images how we can add a button so we'll be looking at a simple ui that we are going to design with a card component for example we can design um, something like facebook stories we can pick one story and then design the same thing or any idea that will come and i'm hoping that our ideas will be great and it will give you um, a full overview of how to use a card component in your project so for now we were able to um, look at how to use card components in our project in case you have any questions you can leave it at the comment section and in case you have any suggestions you can send it to us through the channel's email and we respond to it as soon as possible when we receive it i, I believe you can practice um the components we've learned so far and get a whole overview and then start using it in your own project because we've learned a lot and i believe you are going to do that see you in our next video
thanks for watching bye bye